welcome 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 everyone hello i see that you guys are changing your names reading the instructions i want to thank everyone um, and say good afternoon to you guys welcome to our webinar um, please make sure that you find the chat and put in your name type your name where you are from and who invited you to this webinar today um, also make sure that you go to the participants list and find your device um, and then that way you can rename yourself to show your first and last name with a forward slash and the name of the person who invited you here today okay i want you guys to make sure that your devices um, are fully charged and that you have a pen and paper handy so you can take notes um, as this is going to be a live meeting um, please also write down any questions that you may have and then we will answer those at the end as they may be answered during the meeting okay i want you guys to make sure you stick around to the end because i will be giving you a special gift announcement um and before we hop in i'm just gonna welcome some of you guys here let's see oh, we've got zoe um invited by tiffany welcome david invited by courtney and justin uh, we've got melvin invited by tiffany Caitlin invited by Deirdre. We've got Karen invited by Christy. Evan invited by Ashley. Kristen invited by Courtney. Laura invited by Christy. Welcome, welcome. Andrea invited by Kimberlyn. Katie invited by Michelle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Suzanne invited by Christy. Welcome, Natalia. I love that name. In, um, invited by Deirdre. Okay. Um, let me go ahead before we hop in, make sure that everyone can hear me. All right, can everyone hear me okay? All right, perfect. All right, so my name is Precious Carol. Okay, I am your host for today's webinar and I'm going to introduce myself. I am originally from California. Um, I grew up a military brat, so I have lived in every U.S. time zone. I've lived in about eight or nine different states, um, and I am a technology professional. I have over 15 years of experience working in information technology as a project manager, scrum master, and working with my colleagues. You know, we've traveled a lot, and that's actually what got me into becoming a travel agent. I love to travel. And now I am a travel advisor, a travel presenter, as well as a travel trainer, because I love to travel. I'm sharing some of the photos from the last year with you guys here. Um, I've been to probably 11 or 12 different countries in the past year, um, and I've just enjoyed, the, I've enjoyed the way that this has changed my life. And so I want to go ahead and just share with you guys a little bit more about who we are and what we do. Um, so that, that way we can go ahead and get you guys started. So our webinar today is going to be about how you can be a travel advisor in today's market and enjoy the perks of working from home, okay? when So let me go over the agenda a little bit. What we're gonna be talking about is how you have the ability to work from home as a travel agent, how you can get your travel credentials um, and your travel agent certification, and how you can actually help your friends, family, colleagues, and strangers book travel all while enjoying the amazing perks and benefits of working from home, okay? So you guys have all been, um, you know, invited here by different hiring managers, and this might be right for you. If you are interested in what the travel industry has to offer, if you want to enjoy life more and start traveling more, if you want to take advantage of the perks of being a travel agent, or maybe you're just tired of not making enough money and you want to supplement your income, maybe you want to start a business or a side business um, or a side gig as they're calling it now, or maybe you're already a travel agent and you're just looking for a better option or you wanna work from anywhere in the world, okay? Because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to work from anywhere in the world. Um, so I know that you guys, like I said, have all been invited here by different agencies and different hiring managers. 
But the one thing that we all have in common is that we all work under the same host agency, okay? And that is Archer Travel. And they've been around for 70 years and they provide us with their certification um, and licensing and we work underneath, our, underneath their licensing and bonding. Um, and we, they provide us with their certification to be able to book travel. And then they have a partnership with Evolution and Evolution is the marketing side of the business and what brought us all here today. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, Archer a little bit more because I want you to have a full understanding of our host agency. So they are family owned and operated and have been since 1952. And they were established inside the lobby of a Glendale, California Greyhound bus terminal um, by Cliff and Lola Archer. So they wanted to be able to provide quality information and affordable travel arrangements for local friends and residents who wanted to see the world. So Ron and Steve Archer are the sons of the founders. They own and operate the company and they carry on that tradition today. They are both very much involved. They do two, they do trainings like twice a month um, and we get to meet with our CEO, Ron, every week during Coffee with Ron, um, that's his training and he's extremely humble, very um, approachable and you know, it's really cool being able to talk to him because he is full of knowledge, full of knowledge. So we're gonna discuss Archer a little bit further. As I said, um, they are a family owned and operated since 1952. We just celebrated over 70 years together. And we are the travel agency that provides you with all of the proper credentials for you to be able to confidently book travel for all of your friends, family, associates, and new clients. And below you're gonna see some of our affiliates. We have OSTA, which is the American Society of Travel Advisors. Um, you can become a member of them. They have all kinds of little perks for us. We also have NACTA, OSSN, ARC, and IATAN. IATAN is anything that's land-based um, land travel. Um, and then we also have our Better Business Bureau. We have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, and we've held that since September 14th of 2012. Um, we've had that for a long time. Um, and we also are affiliated with CLIA. CLIA is the Cruise Lines International Association, and we are platinum members of CLIA. And that's a really big deal, guys, because there's only one in 30 travel agencies that actually hold that distinction. So it's a really, really high distinction to have. And our CEO, Ron, actually sits um, on the board of directors with CLIA. And so he's part of the decision making, which is really awesome for us because then we're able to um, share our, our ideas and opinions and he can take that back to the board, which is really, really awesome. I mean, I think that's awesome. Um, we're also top producers with Expedia TAP. Um, we have our, you, um, our Sales Excellence Awards and we're platinum members of the 500 Club as well. And that includes FunJet Vacations, Apple Vacation, Southwest, United Vacations, Blue Sky Tours, Hawaii. So it's a really big deal for us to be part of the Platinum Club. So I wanna go ahead, I know I've explained this, but why hear it from me? Um, right now, I'm going to let you hear from some of our top suppliers that we work with, and I'm sure that you're gonna be familiar with some of them. Hey, just so you know, my name is Richard Sandoval, the Business Development Manager from Sandals and Beaches Resort. I'm over here to give you a huge shout out that has been such an incredible year. You have shown your tenacity and growth with helping grow the Sandals and Beaches Resort business. Good afternoon. Just wanted to say thank you. Uh, I greatly appreciate Evolution and uh, all your support for the Disney Destinations brands. Uh, again, thank you and happy birthday, Evolution. Hello, Lindsay Wagner here from Virgin Voyages, wanting to send a big thank you to Archer Travel and Evolution Travel for your continued support this past year. This is Marco with ALG Vacations, and I'm extremely proud to announce that Archer Travel is one of our top travel agency partners nationwide. We look forward to a long and mutually beneficial relationship, and we're so proud to be in it together. Hi, my name is Mary Dring. I'm your business development manager for Delta Vacation. I am just so honored and proud of what Archer Travel and Evolution Group has done this year. Uh, we've moved you into our highest 
category of uh, agency, which is a diamond elite. And we just are so excited to continue our longstanding relationship. We had the opportunity to have dinner with David and Ron and Jill on board the Panorama. And this guy is so smart and you've made a wise choice in, in uh, connecting yourself with David and the Evolution team. They are amazing. My name is David Evans. I have the pleasure of being the business development manager working with Expedia Tab. I'm pleased to uh, help celebrate another anniversary with Archer Evolution Travel. Happy to say that Archer continues to be the number one producer in my region. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. It's Randy Rath, your strategic account manager for Royal Caribbean. And I just want to take this moment to wish all my friends at Evolution Travel a wonderful, happy birthday. Thanks to all of you and all your commitment. We want to say thank you for all of your support. And Without you, we wouldn't be who we are today at Rural Rev. Thank you, Archer Travel. Evolution Travel agents, if you're looking to join, Archer Travel is your resource and tools for all things travel. We look so as you guys can see, we work with some of the top suppliers in the industry. Um, and I am very proud to be working with Archer. It is so cool that I am able to reach out to these business development managers. I have speaking to, spoken to them at some of our conferences. They are so helpful with getting you started and giving you all the background information you need on top of the resources that we get from Archer and Evolution. So are you guys familiar with any of these folks? Drop it in the chat if you have heard of some of these suppliers before. Yes, everyone's like, yes, 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 yes. Well, I want to go ahead and share with you guys a little bit more about the travel industry, right? So your next question is probably, you know, what makes up the travel industry? What does this encompass? Well, a lot of times people think that travel agents are just booking fancy trips, but in fact, we sell all kinds of travel and vacations. And that includes our cruises, flights and hotels, resorts, as well as rental cars, okay? And then, of course, we also have business travel. And with business travel, that's going to include your conventions, your on-the-fly business meetings, company trips and events, as well as network marketing, okay? And I don't really normally personally focus on business travel, but one of the things that I think is really cool is that we also have sports travel. And sports travel, that's going to bring together like your youth tournaments, cheerleading tournaments, e-sporting events. If you're, um, if you or someone you know, like a, a sibling, or if you have kids of your own and you're definitely into sports, this is a really, really good um, avenue for you to be able to make some really, really good money. We also have religious and wellness travel. And of course that's gonna include like your mission trips, your Holy Land and mission trips to places like Israel, Jordan, Egypt, Africa, and that also includes wellness retreats, right? And that is actually a very popular niche now. Um, people are loving to go on spa vacations um, where they are just getting detoxed and all the things. It's, it's actually, it's a huge thing. It's, it's a trend, I would say. Um, of course, we have to include our wedding travel and wedding travel encompasses your bachelor and bachelorette arrangements, um, destination weddings, wedding cruises, international wedding plans for all of the wedding guests that are attending the wedding, as well as the honeymoon. So wedding travel is extremely lucrative. There are so many different things that you can do, especially because you can also book events. You can put together and curate amazing wedding packages for your clients. So what else can you sell? So, Because I only just touched on a little bit. So you can also sell show tickets, concert tickets, Disney, Universal tickets to the theme parks, um, as well as your typical sporting events like the NFL, the NHL, um, all those golf tournaments people love to go to, the Olympics. You can put together all kinds of packages. Um, but let me just, I'd rather show you. So um, Golden Tickets is one of our suppliers. Um, you can see right here, my URL has my name, preciouscarol.goldentickets.com right there. 
So this is my affiliate link with them. And what's really cool is when I share this with people, it automatically, let's say you click on concerts, it will pull their IP address and it will automatically pull up venues that are near their location, which is just super awesome. So wherever they're at, if they use my link, they can book their concert tickets, their theater tickets, and then all of these sporting events, I mean, NFL, baseball, basketball, hockey, you've got all of them in here. And there's even subcategories, ballet and dance, entertainment shows, you can look up things to the opera. I was actually able to um, sell some, some Beyonce tickets to some of my colleagues when they weren't able to get the pre-sale. That was really, really awesome. Um, and it was really cool getting that, that, that. <laughs> I made a lot of money off of that, so that was really awesome. Okay, so um, another vendor that we have is Viator, right? Um, Denise Denise asked, is it like a Ticketmaster? Yes, it is like a Ticketmaster. Um, I can just show you. When you go in, you can just look up whoever you want. The tickets are there. You can select the stadium that you want, and then you can like view... Um, you can view the seats that are available, you know, and people are saying that the, like the Beyonce tickets are so super expensive. Um, we're not selling them for outrageous prices. As you can see, these are like 300 bucks. So I was able to see Beyonce at Soldier Field in Chicago. It was really, really cool. Um, Amanda asks, will equipment and training be provided? We do not provide equipment, but we definitely provide training. Lots and lots and lots and lots of training. So this right here is Viator. Um, this is my travel agent link through Viator. Viator is actually a trip advisor company in case you guys were not aware. TripAdvisor is one of the top three booking engines um, in the world. Um, and what's really cool about this, is I can share this link, I can copy it. Let me show you what it looks like when you paste it for the client. The client will go, they'll get this view where it says, your agent precious right there um, and they can search and make their trips in here they get free cancellations they can reserve now pay later it's all in the system and I make money off of this right here um, every time they book something and this is what it looks like on their end on the back end which is where I'm at right now if I drop a place in here like Greece as you guys saw I had a, pictures of me when my husband and I went to Santorini um, a while back I was able to book really so many excursions for our group through this link and it was really cool because I can click on a link and I can just share this with my client and when I send it to them and they I can send it via text email send it however I want I can shorten in the link it's going to automatically come up with the reserve now pay later it's going to give them that option it lets them know that I'm their agent um, they're able to go in here and select the availability. Of course, they have 24 hours um, of free cancellation. They can reserve now, pay later, let, pay later to reserve their spot. I mean, and this is for, by Aider goes all over the world. This is Athens, we put Rome in here. Um, we booked the Colosseum in Rome. And we also went to St. Peter's Basilica. Yep. This is a very popular, um, tour I actually went on this tour it's amazing it's amazing and you're able to like skip the line and with by air you can go all over the world right so it's just really cool so you can sell show tickets concert tickets excursions sporting events you have the opportunity to um, to do all of that so some of you guys I see are asking about pay all right so your next question, like I said, is the pay. I see a lot of you guys are asking us about this. Wait, one second. Denise says, does this also work in the U.S. such as Vegas? Yes, it does. Yes, it definitely does. Vegas, Orlando. Um, you can, you, it has all kinds of excursions in Orlando doing the alligator stuff. There's Grand Canyon tours. Um, it covers so many different excursions in the U.S. And you can use it locally. Put it on your Facebook. So for pay... We are on a 1099 commission. We are commission based um, and we do have the option for residual income. We have the highest commission in the industry. 
um, as a booking agent, you get 80% commission. So Arch Revolution gets 10%. Um, the mentors who are helping you do all of your training, they're like your team lead, they get 10%. Um, and then you as a booking agent get 80%. I um, mean, that doesn't matter how long you've been here. Um, when you're booking, you automatically receive that 80% of the gross commission. Um, there is no sales cap at all, and there's no quota either. So it's really, really cool because, oh, let me give you an example. Like we show you how to start up your business. We help you with your first booking and your bookings after that. This right here is an example of a group cruise. So with this group cruise, this is with Royal Caribbean um, and it sells typically for seven days, um, about $3,000 per person for double occupancy, right? This is the wonder of the seas. This is one of their brand new ships. Um, and with Royal Caribbean, let's say I want to do this group cruise um at three thousand dollars double occupancy the payout for royal caribbean is 16 percent. so you get 16 percent commission which is 480 per cabin okay so let's say for this group book booking it's going to be like 16 cabins all right so with 16 cabins if you multiply that out then that's going to come to seven thousand six hundred and eighty dollars and that's your gross commission that's not how much you make you get 80% of that, which is the 6,000, we'll just round up to $200, or we'll, we'll round down. That's how you get the $6,100. And that would be your 80% commission off booking this, this group cruise, okay? Um, if let's say you did one for like maybe eight cabins, so you're getting like 3,000 bucks. You're getting like $3,000. Think about all that money. This may take around, like realistically, it'll probably take you about five hours um to put all of that in there worth of work because of course you want to make sure that you're putting them on the right deck um that you're pairing people in the group who want to be closer together that you're setting up their dining times um those logistics making sure that you're collecting their deposits so of course you're doing all that it's going to take about five hours and on top of that royal caribbean is going to give you a free cabin right a free cabin you're going to get a free cabin um so you can give that back to the host. You can give it to gift it to the bride and groom. You can go on the cruise with them, or you can use it as a working trip for a tax write-off. So, what would you guys do? Um, what would you guys do with your free cruise? Would you keep it, gift it? <laughs> Everyone's like, gift it, gift it, keep it. It depends. Working trip. Um, while you guys are dropping that in there, I do want to answer a few more questions that I saw come through the chat. Um, let's see. A couple people are asking how you get clients. I'm going to go over that in a minute. Um, yes, it is commission based. Um, I will show you how to find the business opportunities in just a second. How much is training? Okay. Okay. I'm going to answer all these questions. Good, 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 good. good. All right. All right, so I want to go over another example here. Let me show you Profit Agility. So Profit Agility is one of our suppliers that specializes in resort weeks, right? So they specialize in resort weeks and it's kind of like timeshare. They do timeshares, um, but they also do hotels. So you can see, you click on hotels, they have all these options. Um, for lodging so but I'm gonna do resort weeks within 60 days of travel and we like this is instant commission when you when you um, book through profit agility um, and the reason why is because these are non refundable fares so you get instant commission so let's go in here and look at some of these last minute deals this is in 12 months I want to do last minute deals in 60 days of travel Okay. All right, so we've got the Dominican Republic. I'm gonna show you guys how to go through here. All right, just one second, let's see. All 
All right, I'm just browsing. I'm getting lots of Dominican Republic and I want to try something else. Let's skip down here. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is good. West, oh, I love Westgate. Okay, I like this. I already like this. I like this for me. All right, so Westgate, I don't know if you guys have ever stayed at Westgate, but I love staying at Westgate when I go to Orlando. It's one of my favorite places to stay, and I'm gonna show you why. Because it is so inexpensive. So look at this, September 10th through September 17th. I'm gonna click on book. Love staying at Westgate. So a week there is um, like $2,300, right? For the week, it tells you the maximum suggested sale price. Okay, and it, let's say I just take all this off. If I'll take it, the commission control. This box right here is the commission control. I'm gonna take that off. And then look, if I wanted to book this for myself, it would cost me $470 for a two bedroom that sleeps eight. Now I have stayed at this resort. I was just here like actually last Christmas. So it hasn't been that recent, but last December we stayed there we did three days before our cruise and we did five days after our cruise. Um, and what's really cool is I have so much on property. I, they share, you can share this link with the, your client so that, that way they can see all the amenities. Um, but let's say I want to sell this to my, a customer. This is how much I would pay for 70. But let's say I want to sell this to a customer. I think I probably want to give it to them for about and I would do a, a, um, a cost comparison so I can make sure that I'm giving them a really good price. But I would like $425 commission, good for me. I can sell it to my customer for $1,400. And look, they're gonna save $800 off of the retail price. And that's only $26 per person per night. And this is a two bedroom that sleeps eight. It's perfect, perfect. And that's for a whole week. This is a great price. Um, and then if I wanted to book that, I would just go into the next. I would put in my client's information. Um, I've got my inventory ID number and everything. And then I would go ahead and add that to the cart and check them out. So that is how that works. And that's not even including the fact that you're also going to want to book their excursions. You're going to want to add on their, um, their transfer. Like, so you can book their flights rental cars, activities, where you're even earning more commission, right? Which is really, really cool. So now I wanna go over and discuss your travel website. You do get your own travel website as well. And with your travel website, um, you have your picture here. You're able to basically just make money in your sleep because your customers will be able to come here um, and search for their flights, hotels, cars. But there, it's called Archer Go, so it'll go right through there, that booking portal. You're able to add your own bio. Um, and as you can see, it has all of my contact information I'm able to add in there. I added my recommended special for this Egypt tour. It's $4,000 per person. Booking window is from now until next year. This right here includes 12 days total, seven nights in destination, plus a four night Nile cruise. It includes their airfare, all their transfers, six different excursions, and it's $4,000 including flights. So I'm able to add my special in there, which is really, really awesome. Um, and then I'm also, it has a travel blog. That my customers can complete a vacation quote request form that goes right into my back office. All I have to do is share this link, right? And with this form on the website, they're able to, um, give me all of their personal information, where they're planning on going, their party, their booking party details, all of that good stuff. Um, they also have travel specials on my website here. I can view all specials. There's a travel blog on here. It has so much on here. And these are really, really good deals. Really good deals. Um, and what's awesome is the fact that you all you have to do is share this. You're not doing your maintenance. You're not maintaining the site. I can update my bio and add my contact information, but I don't have to update the travel deals. And my clients get all these popular links on here where they can look through and there's a client photo gallery, travel specials, and then there's even travel resources so that they can go ahead and see like a currency convert, um, a currency converter, um, different time zones, 
They can check flight delays, all of that right from my website. So this is really, really, really cool. So, so what are you getting? Well, as I was saying, you get your own website, your travel agent certification. A lot of you guys have asked, how long does it take to get your travel agent certification? It takes less than one hour. It's like 45 minutes. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to get to go through the test and the training to get your travel agent certification. Um, you also get your two back office sites for all of your resources. Um, so that you can track all of your bookings as well as your commissions. And you also get direct access to our vendors and suppliers. So I want to go over some of that. So we have over 133 preferred vendors and relationships with hundreds of suppliers. And this right here on the right hand side is just a small little tiny bit of some of them, right? Um, and on the left, you're going to see some of the typical booking portals that agents use that are not travel agents that, that people use that are not travel agents that I'm sure you're familiar with and a little fun fact for you um, you may not know this but like Trivago, Travelocity, Hotels.com, Orbitz they're all owned by Expedia right so why not pay yourself instead of paying them because you'll actually have access to Expedia TAP um, which is the travel agent affiliate program for Expedia so you'll be able to book your clients through Expedia if you so desire. And it'll include all of these suppliers right here. Well, it'll include hotels, orbits, travel, city, Chewbacca, right? So let me go over some of the perks of being a travel agent. This is my favorite part. Um, you get to get a free cruise when you complete your princess cruise lines training. They give you a graduation cruise. And all you have to do is pay your port fees and taxes. Um, what's really awesome about that is that Canard Cruise Lines also does that. So you can get a free cruise with um, Princess Cruise Lines for graduation and a free cruise with Canard for graduation. You just have to pay for port fees and taxes. And that also doesn't include like the random deals that they give us, like MSC. Um, I think it was like around April of this year. They had sent us an email where they get, oh no, it was like, it was like February, March-ish, because we had until the end of April to book it. Um, and we were able to go on a cruise up to 10 days for $250 per person. Awesome. We just had to pay the port fees and taxes. Um, and then, of course, you also can get free Disney theme park tickets. When you complete your Disney College of Knowledge training, you get free tickets to Disney. You can get free tickets to Disneyland um, and Disney World. Um, and you also get discounts on Disney Cruise Lines. So it's really, really cool. Um, and you can get that, it's, I think it's annually, or I don't know if it's every year for Disney. I think it's every year for Disney. And then you also get travel agent discounts, of course. You can earn your IATAN card when you earn $5,000 in commission, which is, I already showed you, that's not complicated at all. Um, you can earn cash and merchandise and points. The same way that you earn points today when you're booking travel for yourself, you're able to earn points when you're booking travel for others. Um, and then you also get FAM trips. This is another thing I, I absolutely love. FAM trips are short for familiarization trips. Um, and that's where you are getting a learning experience as well as a business write-off. And these can go for really, really, really cheap, guys. You sometimes only need to pay for your flights and your taxes. Um, and no, you do not... You do. So how do you know that you can gain clients? Well, we all know that the average social media user logs in every day. I want you guys to drop in the chat. How long do you, how, like, how often do you guys log into social media? Charles asked, can we do this off a laptop? Yes, you can do it off a laptop, iPad. Some people do this off of their phone. Okay. Probably, so people are answering, they're like multiple times a day, probably too much, all day, five times at least, many times, nonstop, right. We're all locked into social media, okay? And social media is, I have to admit, one of the largest and easiest ways for you to gain clients, all right? But, you know, I could go into that because of course, you know, most people are using social media between one and 10 times a day. We've got some fun facts here, but also 
you can use old school methods like the flyers, all, all like Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Sandals. They give us so many flyers and brochures. Um, and then we have affiliate links. Let me see. But I do want to show you some examples. So with Viking River Cruises, I have my own booking portal here that I can share with my clients. Um, this is the oceans view where they can come in here, they can find a cruise and they can book, right? I can also do the river cruises that they do um, basically in Europe for the most part, the river cruises. Um, and it will it'll allow them to search different cruises, the ships, they can do all of that from this site. It's an affiliate site that they gave me, right? Virgin Voyages. Um, I have this booking portal you'll see right here. It says sold and serviced by Precious Carol. All I have to do is share this link. Um, and when anytime someone is booking their Virgin Voyages, their, their cruise, I will get commission off that. I can share this. They can book right here, make their payments, log in, all of that from right here. There's tons of suppliers that offer us these affiliate links. This is Disney. Um, this is my microsite with Disney. And my microsite, I, I was able to set up what I wanted. I went ahead and added all of the Disney branded um, options on here. So this, as you can see, when it's loading, it's pulling straight from the API and it's pushing the special offers that are available right here to the front end for my client. So bam, they've got all these deals. I don't have to update this or anything. Disney takes care of that for me. This is another one that I have for Ammo Waterways where they're able to also look on these different cruises and ships. As you can tell, my niche is cruises. I love cruising, I love cruises. So these are my favorite affiliate links um, and they can make their payments through here. They can check into their cruise, all of that through my link and it feeds them right back to me. Like an affiliate link right here with Villas of Distinction, it's really, really awesome. These are luxury villas, um, very, very <laughs> luxurious. I, I can't stress enough to you how luxurious this is. It's very, 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 very luxurious. But they can click on here if they wanna to go to Turks and Caicos, Jamaica. They can search all through here and, and I have all of that, right? But then I also have access to Branch Up and Branch Up posts to my Facebook business page for me, okay? And I don't do anything. Branch Up is free. Um, if I click on Publish, look, they posted this yesterday at 5.30 p.m. on my Facebook business page. They posted this, this World Caribbean. If I click on it, it's a landing page for World Caribbean. And it pushes them with my contact information, my photo, my business information. And when um, a client clicks on Get a Quote, it will send me an email with this promotion so I know what they clicked on. And then I also have like what European cruises, other, and I didn't create any of these landing pages. Branch Up does this for free. They're able to do so because the suppliers pay them. And it also posts to my LinkedIn. So it posts on my LinkedIn business page. Um, and like Norwegian cruise lines, they create all these beautiful landing pages for me for all, so many of our suppliers. And then it also has my app, right? Um, my, my, not my app, my newsletter. Um, it has a new letter, the newsletter app. So I've got like maybe about 2,500 contacts in here. 60 people have opted out of my newsletter. They said no. Um, but this goes out to my clients about twice a month. Um, and I can look at my reports and all of that. I can view my contacts and, you know, it's really, really awesome, right? So th there's a lot of ways for you to actually gain clients. So how do you know that you can do this? Well, let me explain that to you. You're going to be able to attend live new agent orientation. Um, we have new agent orientation every day of the week. Um, well, actually, we have travel. We have daily life Q and I, Q and A every day of the week. So when you have questions, you're able to go in, ask questions, bring your thoughts, um, that get assistance from other travel agents, travel professionals such as yourself. You can attend live new agent orientation. If your schedule is busy, 
we have these things recorded and then you can watch them and you can pull them off of the Travel Agent Academy that you also get access to. You're able to attend travel booking webinars. You can attend the weekly live travel agent marketing trainings. Um, you can, and of course you're able to work from home. And then we have weekly team meetings as well as bi-weekly team meetings. And of course you get that one-on-one -on -one with your mentor. So where are you getting overall? You're getting a full travel agency, a website with maintenance and updates. You're getting your travel agent certification. You're getting access to vendors and suppliers. You can earn your IATAN card. Um, you also get travel booking training, travel marketing training, access to our fam trips and perks, as well as the live small group coaching. Um, and then of course you get that one-on-one -on -one coaching with your mentor. So I see a lot of you guys are asking how much this is. It is $70. We are running a Labor Day special and it is, this is how much the monthly fee is. The monthly fee is $70, but you also have a 10 day money back guarantee. It covers your hotel discount. You're able to set your own hours. You're able to work from the beach. You get access to those free cruises as soon as you complete your training, right? You can get access to those fam trips and offers that those resorts are gonna to wanna to reach out to you and give you, as well as all of those Disney discounts when you attend the Disney College of Knowledge. So you get your 10 day money back guarantee and you also get an opportunity to earn back the $69.95 by completing the simple steps to success checklist. So you can earn back your initial investment. You'll feel confident about booking travel because your mentors are going to walk you through how you can earn that back. You have to attend new agent orientation. You have to go um, to a live Q&A session. The steps to success checklist is basically catered to making sure that you are gonna be able to book from start to finish. So the fee is monthly. I see someone asking, is it a one-time fee? It's a monthly fee. And it includes everything I went over, the full travel agency, the website with maintenance and updates, your travel agent certification, access to vendors and suppliers, the ability to earn your IATAN card, access to our Travel Agent Academy, right? And with the Travel Agent Academy, you're gonna be able to log in and pull the meetings that um, maybe you were not able to attend because your schedule is busy, but then you can also earn back that initial $70 investment if you complete the success steps in your first 30 days. You can cancel at any time. There's no cancellation fee. And I want to go over our special gift announcement. So um, with our special gift announcement, anyone who wants to go ahead and start up right now today, within one hour of me closing out this webinar, you're gonna receive a three day, two night hotel voucher. It's good for over 50 locations in the country. It's valued at over $350. It's good for two adults and two children, and you have up to one year to use it. And you're gonna receive that on week two of you joining the company. So for those of you who are ready, I want you to go ahead and put in the chat in caps that you are ready and who you are invited by. So that that way I can go over the sign up process with you once you guys get your links. All right, Anique said she's ready, invited by Christy. Sarah is ready, invited by Jasmine. Tiffany is ready, invited by Lise. Denise is ready. Oh, wait, excuse me, no, Denise has questions about commissions. Uh, Rachel is ready, invited by Patrice. Danielle is ready, invited by Matthew. Sonia is ready, invited by Kaylee. Christopher's ready. Invited by Diane. Sergio is ready, invited by Emily. I am going to make sure if you guys have questions that I will um, answer those too. Let's see, Karina asked, is it 100% commission based? Yes, you can also get residual income if you decide that you want to um, bring people in, but we don't encourage you doing that until you know how to book travel yourself. 
because you don't want to become like a mentor or a team lead if you don't know how to book travel yourself. Um, Daniela says, if I'm in Mexico, can I work with you? Yes. Um, one of our top platinum leaders, Emily, just updated the Travel Academy so that it includes Mexico. It's in Spanish. Absolutely. Um, and your link is going to look like this. And so if you're in Mexico, you'll click Mexico right here or select your country. You're going to click next. And this is really simple. When you get right here, the sponsor ID is already filled out. Um, you just want to click the little red box. And then you're going to complete all of the fields that are, have a red asterisk. And when it comes to your personal web address, you have to select a directory name. You can just put your first and last name here for it. Um, when you attend new agent orientation, you are going to um, you're going to find out how you can easily change that when you're in NAO. We call it NAO is new agent orientation. So you just put your first and last name here. I'm just making up last names to give you an example. And then you're going to put your password in here. Um, and then you can look over the, the, the contract agreement, the terms and conditions. Make sure you check the box that you understand you have a 10-day money-back guarantee. And your 10-day money-back guarantee is 10 calendar days. Those are not business days. Um, Jasmine asked, do you have to use your real name for the website? No, you don't. You don't, you can change it. Um, Jane Marie asks, can you do the 30 days at your own pace? Yes, you absolutely can. You're all independent contractors, so you're gonna be able to do that. Yvonne asks, well, how do you get paid? So you get paid, um, our residuals are paid twice a month. Um, and no, our commission is paid twice a month. And if you get paid residuals, it's once a month. So our lease says that it is available for someone outside of the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. Yes. Um, I wonder if they'll let me go back. So the countries that we cover are Antigua and Barbuda, um, Aruba, Australia, the Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Bermuda, Bolivia, the Cayman Islands, Colombia, the DR, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, then we've got France, Germany, Grenada, Italy, Mexico, the Netherlands, Panama, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, Spain, Trinidad and Tobago, and also the United Kingdom. So we are an international company. Um, we are all over the world, and we are trying to get even further. Not further than the world, but more countries. You understand. <laughs> all right, making sure that um, Yvonne asks, is it direct deposit or check mail? This direct deposit. Um, Arlesia said, if I don't reside in those countries, will I still be able to do the business? Unfortunately, no. The countries that I've just listed are the countries that we are able to contractually um, work in. Um, with travel, it's very important that we are following all the terms and tradition, um, tradition all the terms and conditions. Um, and so we are eligible and licensed to, to serve in those countries. If it's not listed, then we are not in that country yet. Latoya said, can you review more what the actual task of booking for a customer looks like from start to finish? So I don't actually do that in this. This is like an informational webinar where we explain um, this opportunity to you. Uh, now, once you are done, and you sign up, right? You're gonna have access to the back office. You'll be able to go in and complete your travel agent certification. Um, it'll take you about an hour. Then you can start registering for suppliers. And then in the meantime, you can go and log into the Travel Agent Academy, and then you can start taking trainings. We do have one of the top trainings that we, um, that we recommend that you start off with is actually called Booking from start to finish. So I love that you asked it in that format. Um, German asked, after training, do I still pay the $70? So 
So the $70 is a monthly fee. Um, Karen asks, is the cost set at $70 a month? Yes. Um, it doesn't go up. It includes everything I've gone over. It includes access to the Travel Agent Academy, your website, your back offices, as well as you being able to register with suppliers um, and take the suppliers trainings as well. Yvonne asks, do you provide leads? We don't provide leads. We provide everything you need to push and market yourself. Um, Leonel asks, by when? When is the next payment due? So if you were to pay today, then your monthly payment would be due on the 1st. Oh, um, I mispronounced Herman's name. Thank you for correcting me. I really appreciate that because the best thing that you can always do is make sure that you pronunciate someone's name correctly. So thank you for that correction. Emily asks, can the monthly fee be deducted from commission? No, it's separate. You just pay your monthly payment um, and you get paid commission as your commission gets paid in. Um, Jay asks, is this the only monthly fee? Yes, it is the only monthly fee. Jane Marie asks, how many agents are currently employed by Archer at this time? Gosh, man, it's like, whoo, a lot. There are, there are a lot. Um, Cause we are, we are literally like one of the top agencies um that's especially because of that's why our commission is so high um in case you're wondering sometimes i have people ask why is our commission at 80 percent so much higher than other host agencies and the reason why is because we are booking we are booking um they give us all of the marketing materials that we need so they teach you how to make your business card if you don't know how to they teach you how to um, add different specials to your website, how to sign up for branch ups that it's pushing out to your social media for you, what to put in your social media, how often to post, when to post, what to post. There's so much training um, and the travel industry is huge. So everybody can get a piece of that pie. Emily asks, how do your prices compare to clients booking themselves? Okay, so that's a really good question. I'm glad you asked that. A lot of times people think that we are like, um, I almost like the Costco of travel or um, I, I can't, I don't know. We are not. As a travel agent, um, you do always, first and foremost, want to find the absolute best price for your client. Um, but you're also getting a service. My clients that I work with, they love working with me, they're booking with me. It's not necessarily for them to get a cheaper price. It's because they don't want to research their trip. Their trip. Um, it's because I'm the one that's putting their packages together for them. I know what they like. I have them complete their travel profile. Um, I have learned since joining the company how to qualify my clients. So what they're, what they're getting from me is that curated, concierge experience that they wouldn't have on their own. Anique said, what is the most money that you have made in a month? So me personally, and everyone is different. The most I've made in a month is about $4,600. Um, and I, I have higher goals to make more than that. Um, but that's the most I've made so far. I'm very transparent. Um, it says, how long did it take you to really start to get in the groove of things? Um, well, what I did is I promised myself when I started that I would do one training every day. So um, I ended up doing like two or three trainings a day. And then because of that, I was able to kind of get streamlined into getting started fairly quickly because I was very dedicated to that. Karen asks, is this a tax deduction? Um, so we are not allowed to provide you with advice on your taxes. What I can say is that you can deduct business expenses from your taxes. Santiago asks, how many months do we have to pay for the training? Well, you're not, the, the training comes with, it's, it's like, okay, it's $70 per month. It's a flat price. It includes everything. And your monthly payment is on there. Um, Yvonne asks, how much training is there before you can start marketing yourself? Oh, well, I mean, man, you can just log in do your travel agent certification, start registering for suppliers, and you can be marketing yourself today. Honestly, a lot of people do that. <laughs> um, Donna asked, is there an additional fee for your IATAN card? Um, 
you would have to go onto the IATA website. We do not pay for your I attend card, but when you get your commissions through us, because it's through your host agency, then because getting your I attend card is like a process. You um, you have to submit your commission tracking, which is really awesome because it's just in our back office. You can just print that off and then you can go through and apply for your I attend card. Denise asks, how do you deal with weather issues such as going into hurricane season and cruises? So um, since we're under a, a host agency, we are covered um, underneath Archer's errors and emissions insurance, um, as well as their licensing and bonding. Um, I also we're highly suggest that you always make sure that your clients are paying for their travel insurance. Um, I always make sure my clients get their travel insurance. Um, because when things like this happen, I want to make sure that they're good to go. Um, and then the suppliers reach out to us. Like yesterday, um, Disney posted in the, the Disney travel, the Disney travel agent site that they were waiving, um, they were waiving cancellation fees due to the hurricane. So we are well in the know, um, and we know what's going on because it's, the suppliers are always sharing the information with us. Um, as well as Archer and Evolution. So let's see, what do normal people make? I am not sure. Everyone is different. Um, it depends on kind of like, you know, how adamant you are about doing the work because this is self-paced. You get access to all the materials, um, but if you don't do it, then you're probably not going to make very much money. But if you're someone who shows initiative um, and you are a highly overachieving person and you, you know, you're kind of like a go-getter, then you're going to be successful. So Jay Marie asked, is there a limit on the meetings for one-on-ones each week? No, there's not a limit at all. And you also, not only do you get one-on-ones with your mentor, but then you also can attend the live um, Q&A sessions. And you can also, you know, join the forums that we have. We have Facebook chat as well as a forum in the Travel Agent Academy for you to be able to ask questions with other members. Emily asks, do agents print their own material, such as business cards, brochures, etc.? Um, yes and no. Um, a lot of agents, they get their own business cards and have those printed. Um, some agents use those pop cards where you just buy one card, it's like $5, and then you just tap. Um, through an NFC exchange for you to share your contact information when you meet people in person. Um, and then a lot of people actually go to the suppliers and the suppliers will mail you brochures and materials. Um, like they'll mail you books, like you'll get all kinds of stuff. Latoya asks, is there a fee outside of the $70 for the certification? No. Disney, uh, oh, Disney. Denise asks, I think in, in reference to Disney, um, if the fee was waived, do you reach out to those clients? Yes. Or if someone reaches out wanting to cancel, do you help them with the flight changes, hotel changes, and so on? Yes, you do all of that. And you will learn how to do all of that too. Herman said, are the websites all completed by the suppliers or do you edit and add all the photos and descriptions yourself in the format? So these web, those websites I, I gave you an example of um, are... The websites I showed you were by the suppliers. I don't do anything. They just put my logo. I, I upload my logo um, and my business email, my phone number, and those and those websites. Um, and then it's part of my affiliate link. And when I log in to the back office for their booking portal, then I'm able to get that link and it has my branding with their branding. All right, you guys should be going ahead and checking your text messages and your email, and you should be getting a link. If you do not have a link, then I want you to um, go ahead and reach out to your mentor or the person who invited you, your team lead, to reach out to them um, and ask them for your sign-up link, and they will send that right over to you. Caitlin asks, is there an option to pay the fee up front instead of a monthly fee? You know, that is a good question. 
I don't know because um, when I signed up, I just put it on auto pay and it just comes out every month. Missing fees. I don't know what missing fees are, Charles. Amanda, um, I think that you will be just fine. And Latoya too. Um, reach out to the person who invited you and just let them know. Amanda's asking, who can we talk to? Oh, you can talk to the person who invited you. I'm sorry. <laughs> there was a delay in me reading it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's see. Charles is saying, what about missing fees if you're late on fees? What do you mean if you're late on fees? Herman said, is everything usually directly online or do you often get phone calls for each sale? Oh, so I actually do get phone calls for sales. I love that you asked that because I was actually just wondering if I should get like a separate phone number. Um, because sometimes people call me because my phone number is everywhere. <laughs> so um, I'm debating about that. That's a really good question. So. But mostly on it, I would say, I would say at least 85% is online. Maybe 90% to be honest with you, because um, people mostly reach out to me on Facebook. So it's, you know, a lot of messenger. Um, they, they reach out to me on my website when they complete their vacation um, quote request form. It goes into my back office. So most of my leads are coming to me um, digitally, like virtually. Oh, Amanda said this is something that she thinks she can do. Her husband and her both love to travel and they like doing things on a budget. So she's definitely interested. Yeah, girl, I'm telling you right now, my husband actually does this with me um, and it is so much fun for us. Oh, Charles is asking, what happens if you forget to pay your fee for a month? Do you lose all your web pages? Would you lose all of that? Um, you won't have access to it, but it won't be lost. So Herman asks, what questions do they usually have if they call and is it something for confirmation? So when they call me, it's typically like, um, hey, I, I found this deal. I see this deal that you have. I'm interested in booking it. Can you give me more details? Normally when they call, they're asking for um, a travel deal that they've seen somewhere that I've posted. And Latoya said, do you ever struggle with clients who seem like they're 100% committed to booking and then they drop out? Um, so when I very, 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 very first started, um, I helped someone with a booking and they wouldn't book it themselves. And I found out after I went to how to qualify your client training, um, which I did not do, um, my mentor or team lead gave me like a list of trainings that I should do. And I was like, Oh, I got this. I got this. And I didn't do that training. Um, because I was just so excited. So yeah, that happened. And then I was like, well, maybe I should go do these trainings first. And so then I went back and I made sure I did the trainings um, before I started marketing myself. And now I don't have that problem anymore because now I know how to qualify my clients. Caitlin asked, when do you stop paying the monthly fee? Until it's fully paid, question mark. Um, so no, that's just the monthly fee. It's like, I don't know. That's just the monthly fee. Amanda said that she loves that we do concerts and other various amounts of options. Yes, I love that too. It's my favorite part because you're really able to put a complete package together. Um, and you're able, because you're able to use all of these different suppliers, you're able to curate a package specifically for your client that they may not even be able to do for themselves because they're not aware of all these different suppliers. They're not aware of who's best at what. I mean, take cruises, for example. Uh, most people believe that the only way that you can get a guarantee back to the ship if you go on an excursion is if you book it through the cruise line. That's actually not true. 
Um, we have a supplier that I absolutely love. They work with the cruise lines as well. You can book, I can book my clients directly with them and they're paying less than they would for those cruise excursions. And they're still with the same company that Carnival uses for cruise excursions. How amazing is that? So, I mean, that's why you need a travel agent. You specialize in a niche and you're able to curate the best deals for your clients. So Herman asked, do you rehearse for a sale or do you go about the conversation on the fly, guiding the buyer through the website? Um, I don't rehearse for a sale. Once you go through training, um, you're going to learn how to qualify your client. And I've said that, but what that means is making sure that the client is actually ready to book. Sometimes people are just I don't know, buying time or just kind of like wanting to see about a deal. They're not really actually interested in booking it right now. Um, so you don't have to rehearse because you're going to be confident about the rates and deals that are out there because you're going to know how to research them quickly. Um, Denise said, meaning reducing your commissions to get the sale. Are you able to negotiate the price for your clients or is that only able to be done on profit agility? Oh. So there are some, well, no, there are a lot of um, suppliers where you can adjust the commission um, and you will learn that once you come on board. And then if you are working with a supplier where the commission is not adjustable, but you feel like you need to charge an additional fee, you can do that as well. And we also teach you how to do that. Um, Lionel, I, if I mispronounce that, I'm so sorry. That last week, Taylor Swift was here in Mexico. It was a big thing here in her concert. Do we sell her packages? Yes, you can sell um, Taylor Swift tickets. Taylor Swift. Yes, yes, yes. Tickets for Taylor Swift. Look, see? She's going to be in Buenos Aires. Yep, you can sell you can sell you can sell these tickets and you're gonna get commission off of it. Oh, Japan. February 8th. Oh, the time is not ready yet. Time to be announced. But yeah, you can sell your tickets in here. All right. I think I've spent some good amount of time answering questions. I would like to thank you guys all for attending this webinar. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, reach out to the person who invited you here today. We would love to answer your questions and make sure that you don't miss out on this wonderful opportunity. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope that you have a great long weekend and make it long and restful. Bye guys.